Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC light heavyweight champion, John Bones! Jones! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, the Korean super boy, And there's Herb Dean. He will handle the action inside the octagon. All right, DC, a lot of hype on this fight that is now underway. And on one side, you've got someone who relies primarily on their hands. The other fighter is a real 5 2 player, so perhaps that athlete will be looking to take this fight to the ground. We'll see. He has got to use every tool. He is the more skilled guy. He is the more well-rounded guy. He's got to wrestle. He's got to use kicks, knees, and elbows in order to try to confuse the boxer. Because if he is singular, if he plays that game and he is unbalanced, he will find himself laying on his back, looking up at the lights, because this guy, this boxer, has tremendous power. Back to the jab now, no good. Establishing the jab. Nice. Nicely done. Oh, there's a sharp leap up by Choi. Trading huge shots. Let's see. We're going to be the last man standing. Very fast leg King lands for him. And they're exchanging leather early. Oh, big left hook there. To the jab now, no good. Heavy body kick lands. Nice counter punch there as he continues to make good use of this advantage in reach. Single leg takedown is good. Choi gets up, he is back on the feet here. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Oh, roundhouse kick. Another blistering combination there, really starting to do a nice job stringing the shots together. And you can see the damage in his opponent's body, his face, his body, his legs. He's beating him up on all the targets. It's not one guy just headhunting. He is finding every opening that is presented to him. Jones going for the leg kick. He does not connect. That left hook landed on the button. Nice. Nicely done. And blocks that hard. Oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Oh, nice. Another shot here. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Oh, how good was that combo? He is really doing a nice job stringing his shots together now. Nice jab. Nicely done as he lands a kick to the legs. 
Oh, nice little right hook there. Oh, nice job. Oh, sneaky there. The ankle pick is good. Under a minute now to go. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Joy gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Checks the leg kick. Missed on the right hand. Oh, he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got him in the corner. It's very bad. Oh my goodness! So under 30 seconds to go in what has been a pretty entertaining and active first round. First round winding down here. Outstanding back and forth first round. Right, take a seat. You look spectacular. Your pace, your cardio is fantastic. Keep breathing, stay relaxed, go out there, and let's put that pressure on. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. Ready to fight. Ready. Second Ready. round underway. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Jones gets the double leg takedown. Nothing telegraphed about that shot. Well done. Making all these shots count. There it is. Now he's going to mount. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Well, no surprise there as he lets his opponent stand back up. Nice slip there to avoid the punch by Jones. All right, so it looks like some bruising on that thigh right now. He hasn't really done anything to address that weapon from his opponent. He's got to check some kicks. I know right now it may not be that damaging, but down the line, you're going to really pay for it if you don't address it right now. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Shot is blocked there. Connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Choice cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is starting to bleed a little bit now. Just over three minutes to go. That is, oh man, this dude is good. Checks the leg kick. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, nice punch there by Jones. Trying to kick the leg out. Oh, good job to get the hand up to block the elbow. Landed the overhand. I mean, is this thing on repeat? How many times can you say punch to the head? Just over two minutes now to go in round two. Jones is now switching his stance. I mean, look at his left, his left leg already on the outside. The inside and the right leg's gonna start looking at like that too very soon. Who takes any more of those inside kicks? 
And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Such a stinky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got a first bag. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter, and I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit tall. You're a baller, though. Watch you look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Well, until his opponent adjusts, you might as well keep going with it as he continues to land a high volume of strikes in this one, DC. Well, you don't want to be stuck on your feet with a boxer of this caliber. This guy's too good. And as you see his opponent looking lost, this is what you expect. He is that good. What a fight. Both of these guys are trying to finish. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Colby Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work in the training room, and it's a good sport of that. Strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Huge block there. Oh! There it is again. Look at that. Oh, and one sounds on round two. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, so back to the stools we go. They say defense wins championships, and he has not defended well tonight. He isn't trying, or at least it doesn't seem like he's trying. He has got to move his head. He's trying to react when the punch is already coming, and that's not working. If he takes many more of these shots, this fight is going to be stopped due to the swell. You ready to fight? You ready? Third round underway. All right, pretty good back and forth. Oh, oh he smells blood in the water. Got to start looking for the finish here. Oh, big left. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Get that Jones gets caught by that straight punch. Can't take too many more of those. Oh, nice punch there in the clinch. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. Jones gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Oh, man, that could have felt good. Flush knee lands to the body by the taller fighter. Checks the leg kick. Jones is really having a hard time putting weight on that leg. Now you can see the obvious limp, and a lot of that is due to the leg kicks courtesy of his opponent. Takedown defense holds up. And they separate after exiting the clinch. Oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh, big elbow. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there. Really starting to connect it. Oh, nice double leg, yes. I need you to scramble, scramble. Oh, well placed with the hammer fist there by Jones. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Nice uppercut. Oh, and the gentleman lands another punch there. He is keeping the strike counters busy tonight. The counts are high, but it's also the timing at which he lands these strikes. All right, 
Watch the swelling becoming a real factor right now. Did they inject something into his face, or is he just swollen from the strikes? Swollen from the strikes, man. Guy taking a couple shots. You never know which one is going to start to make you get damaged. Something good landed, and now you see the swelling started. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch from the clinch. Nice kick there by Shaw. Mixing it up well tonight. There's a shot to the leg. Oh, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now. But he's got to start to protect it. Under two minutes now to go in our third round. get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. That's some power there. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him, whether or not he's reaching for it, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. We gotta start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. Choi's shot is blocked. Takedown defense holds up. He does a great job getting out of that clutch position. I'm not even sure what I'm watching right now. He doesn't seem to respect those high leg kicks whatsoever, despite the obvious visible damage we now see. And, and you can see it early, John. Very early you saw that he was almost dismissive of that attack. But I believe that now we're getting to a point where if he doesn't address it, he's going to get finished with leg kicks. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Jones goes for the takedown here and gets it late in the round. Oh, he's going for his arm now. Ooh, arms in tight. Oh, he's got it! Whoa! Submission defense, he gets out! He in that moment. It looked like the fight was over. He was able to clear his head, put the guy into the mount. Not a great position, but much better than getting his arm snapped in half the Troy's eye is starting to swell shut. Lands with the ground and pound here. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, back to the stools we go, and it's starting to look like a second mouth on his cheek. <laughs> Yeah, it looks terrible. I mean, the guy is getting hit with big shots. One big enough to open up a nasty cut on his cheek. While it's in a better spot, it still is very difficult to deal with. Like, if he absorbs another strike on that cheek, he might actually be able to eat through that Ready cut on his cheek. Ready. I'm just saying. He's got a big mouth. <laughs> we have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Set up to the leg kick. All right, so a wise decision by him to continue to attack that cut. And it's getting wider by the minute. It's getting wider by the minute. This guy is, is a fantastic fighter, and he's as smart as they come. So the moment that cut opened up, you knew that that would become his focus, and we are seeing it very clear right now. That's a solid punch. That one definitely got through. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Takedown defense holds up. The fighters separate. Oh, sidekick lands. Lands. Oh, back to his feet. Good shot there to land the takedown. Nice job by Johnny Bone. Seamless transition to half guard there. Unbelievable how quickly he was able to slice that leg through to get to the half guard. 
Well, maybe ill-advised to be competing off your back, but he's landing. The Korean Superboy gets up. He is back on the feet here. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, blood's in the water. You got to go and get it. You got to go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you as you hurt him. Nice job to get inside and get the single collar time. Solid punch by him there. Well, if body language is any indication, mentally he is not back in this fight after that knockdown earlier in the round. I mean, we thought the fight was over, so I guess it's a credit to him to still even be fighting. But he's got to do something different if he has any design of winning this fight. Nice. Nicely done. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. All right, so a seminal blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, I mean, he got hurt bad. To see him still standing, that just goes to the toughness that he has to be still standing after taking such a damaging shot. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Choi's really targeting that cut right now, and why not? He has opened up his opponent. Might as well continue to attack that particular area. Checks the leg kick. 90 seconds to go. Oh, shot to the bottom. Oh, huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive. Oh, He's hurt bad. Jones' cut on his nose is just pouring blood at this point. You wonder if that's impacting his breathing by now. Right where he wants to be, in the clinch. Under a minute to go. And now some separation. Jones gets hit with that stiff jab there. Amazing that we could get to this point. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Whiffs on that offer. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Main Street right now. You see a tweeted version over the top of his head. If you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly leg. There's the time. Serena still digesting this result. What a win for him tonight, and he gets it done by submission, no less. He said he was going to get it done by submission. To watch an athlete call the shot is always fun. He should be very proud. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submission. The official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop to this contest at four minutes, 40 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by tap out, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Choi. Du Ho Choi is the name, ladies and gentlemen, a huge